Hello, welcome to episode one of the Harry Potter miniature series. Um, this one is going to be the start of the project and I wanted to do a Chamber of Secrets. Uh, um, I struggled for a bit thinking about how I was going to do the snake so I was thinking about buying some plastic ones from a toy shop and that wouldn't work so after a bit of research online I found Green Stuff World did these rollers and what it is you get two plates um, and they're like ridged and uh, when you rub them together they create a pattern on green stuff so let's try it out so I've got a roll ready believe it or not that's going to be a snake um, you notice I've got the ridges running that way now and what I'm going to do with the second um, second part of the roller is to make sure that the ridges are running the opposite way or 90 degrees to what it was so if I turn that that away I'll have these pointing up the way and all you do is rub over the top to create a pattern and I'm going to change the direction to there I'm going back over the same area and it gives a lovely scaled effect so that's the first part of the snake it's going to be the shortest one if you I'll, I'll probably post a pic at the start of it and it will show you you know the seven snakes part of the locking mechanisms for the uh, the chamber this is going to be the first snake. I'm not particularly worried about the head yet. I'll be doing that in the next episode. So I'll carry on and do the, the other six. And we'll come back. Okay, so this part is going to be about putting the heads on. Um, I've done a few already. Uh, I haven't really got the skill to make them all exactly the same. So each one's going to be slightly different. And I'm going to be working on... This one here, you can see I've chopped it off already. Um, I'm just making a pellet shape. Maybe a little bit of a snout at the front. It's like a small bicycle shape, I suppose. A oh, bicycle shape. Seat shape. Okay, so that goes on there. What you need to do then is to get rid of all the fingerprints that I've put all over it. So I've got a clay shaper, you can get these from eBay, they're pretty uh, cheap. I just stroke over it, I just smooth it all out. Gets rid of the fingerprints. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start pushing in. well the jaw I suppose try and create a cheekbone here a cheekbone there and then come towards the snout then pressing down onto the snout pushing in again as you can see it's starting to take a little bit of shape there I've got the flat of the, uh, the shaper and I'm working my way backwards Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that so far. That's a tricky bit as I'm pushing in. Oh, sorry, I keep knocking the camera. Push in there to try and make a like a bridge for the eyes. And I'll push down the side to flatten that bit out. Might be a little bit uneven, but as I say, they're not going to be perfect. It's just for an effect at the background. Pushing into the eyes. Just building it up slowly. Thank you. 
I'm going to go dead center of that ridge just create an indent and then smooth it off towards the pack there we go and a couple of nostrils at the front I'm just using the, the triangle end of the shaper the beauty of this now you can leave it dry and if you want to add on any more details to the top of the snake head you know, that's, that's the time to do it but we've got the basic shape of it fairly happy and I'll crack on with the other was it? I've got another three to do yet and then we'll move on to the next stage okay um, the green stuff work is more or less dried out now we've got seven snake bodies seven snake heads and what I've done, I, I took the snakes off the um, off the backboard, and what I did was draw a, just a circular design. So if you, if you ever look in the some of the artwork, there's like rivets or punctures all the way around. So I marked out a grid and just made holes all the way around the outside. So that's that's the stage we're at now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to glue the snakes into position and then we need to fill the gaps then between the heads and the bodies what I did as well um, this is the the door mechanism so that's the same uh, same process as making the snake bodies that was using a roller and then I just rolled them around a bit of um, metal tube it's, uh, it's pretty it's hollow you can pick it up from any kind of hobby store really um, the next bit, yeah, is, is filling the gaps and putting little tails on the end of here, so uh, we'll come back in a minute. Okay, so the snakes are glued uh, onto the board. I've made a another piece of the, the scaly uh, body for the, the, the tails to stick out at the end, but what I'm going to do now is to fill the gap on one of the... Uh, one of the snakes. I think we'll go for the big one in the middle. I'm just making a, a little sausage. I'm going to put it down on one side and just drag it over to the other. I'm going to have a little bit of excess, just pick it away. Depends on what tools you've got. Um, you can pick up um, dentists um, tools on eBay, pretty cheap. Great for sculpting. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to push it into the gaps, just to fill everything in. I've, I've made I've had made this green stuff a while ago, so it's getting quite hard now. But I'm going to try my best. I'm just going to use my finger to try and smooth it all out. If your fingers are wet it should work it quite well. Let's get into all the gaps, make sure everything's filled in. Try and get as smooth as you can. And um, what you can do is use one of your other tools. Um, I'm using that one. Uh, you can get all sorts of shapes but what I'll do then is just add in some of the details that I've I've gone over with the new green stuff and I'll put the markings in but then I'll probably smooth over the top just to blend it in so it's like a gradual fade or a gradual build up and that is the gap filled so I'll move on to the tail bit at the end, I'm just winging it here now. I'll, do, I'll come up to there. Yeah, I'll, I'll cut that in half. I'll just fold it over. As long as I've got a bit sort of dangling out at the end, I'll be happy. So it'll come over and down like that. I'll do the same at the other end. I'll 
come up and over that. I just want to hide the bit of metal. Okay, so it's just another couple of heads to fill in. I'll do that off camera. And that's basically the end of the sculpting stage. The plan is then to put the, the actual entrance over the top of that and you can see all the grooves around the outside of that. Once it's all dry and cured, I'll dry it out. I'll go out to the, uh, the garage and give it a spray with some um, primer and then we'll move on to the, uh, the painting stage. Cheers. Okay, so the um, door's been primed now. Um, I did notice earlier that I, I forgot to fill in the gaps between the the bodies and the, the locking mechanism, so that's all sorted now. I've filled the gaps, primed and ready to go. Um, we'll do the painting in episode two. Um, yeah, so that's it for this episode. Uh, if you liked it, please like, uh, subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. Um, if you hit the little bell down in the corner, that'll uh, give you a notif notification when the next videos come up. Um, hopefully build up the content now for the, the Harry Potter side of things. Um, yeah, and we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.